I'm happy to be a cowboy. Yeah! I've been waiting on the draft my whole life. I got that call. I feel like I was mentally, physically ready to compete at the higher level. All the hard work I put in, you know, all the extra hours, and then finally, you know, my dream comes true. It was definitely worth it for sure. It's gonna be great. Um, maybe we're gonna be roommates, I don't know yet. We're here to continue to build this program and make this uh, women's golf team one of the best in the country. It was down to women, man. We're gonna attack that through recruiting and player development and uh, so that we're not in this situation next year. Isn't that the program that we have? Would you want it any other way? That's the way it will be here for the rest of time. And that's what you deserve to have it like that the rest of time. K-Nation, sponsored by 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. Fasten your seatbelts and enjoy the ride. A pack show, K-State and KU combined for five players drafted, several others picking up NFL contracts. We bring you the reaction, the emotion from the moment dreams became reality. Plus four portal commits and three departures. If you're struggling to keep track of all the roster moves, don't worry. We've got you covered with the latest in Lawrence and Manhattan, both the court and on the field. And if you've got Devin Neal, Jalen Daniels, and a trio of impressive wide receivers, yeah, we're expecting touchdowns. How Jeff Grimes joins us for a one-on-one -on -one interview with how he plans to put the Hawks in the end zone and often. Well, welcome into K Nation, Caroline Sorrell, Glenn, Hin Glenn Kinley here with you tonight. Sorry. <laughs> and right. gosh, we have a ton to unpack. <laughs> yeah, we do. We would normally start with baseball and softball this time of year, unless, of course, the All American big man announces his plans to come back. Yep, that'll then do it. Then <laughs> we'd leave with that, unless, of course, you have five local kids get drafted. Then you start there. Absolutely. Two Jayhawks, three Wildcats. For K State, it's tight end Ben Sinnott, first off the board to the Washington Commanders in the second round. Then offensive lineman Cooper Beebe, you're going to see his reaction here in just a moment. He got the phone call from Jerry Jones himself as the Dallas Cowboys select the O-lineman in the third round. And another O-lineman, KT Leviston, selected in the seventh round by the Los Angeles Rams. Here's the first of the bunch who went from walk-on to the second tight end selected in the draft. I mean, those emotions are, are so great because all the hard work, um, all the dedication, I mean, I walked on was it was a 205 pound kid coming into high school or coming to college so uh, just knowing all that hard work all that effort um, is kind of coming into fruition man uh, it, it means the world. Senna says he expects his versatility to be used quite a bit at the next level also we've got some special coverage of Cooper BB's draft party I was there for that it's coming later in the show you do not want to miss it. And the Jayhawks had multiple players selected in the NFL draft for the first time since 2015. O-lineman Dominic Pooney goes in the third round of pick number 86 to the San Francisco 49ers. And defensive end Austin Booker will now be a Chicago Bear. Chicago trades up a pick to get into the fifth round and take the Big 12 Defensive Newcomer of the Year. Here's the NFL-bound Hawks on taking the next step in their football careers. 49ers, you're getting the most versatile O-lineman in the draft. Um, you're getting somebody who can play center guard and tackle both sides. Um, I think nobody else can bring that but me, and um, I'm excited to get there. Um, wherever they put me, I'm going I'm to I'm do my best, try to shine, and um, help the team um, Help the team win the Super Bowl. I'm 21, so I know I have a lot of years ahead of me to get better, get, get stronger, get faster. So um, just looking to uh, keep growing in the NFL. Well, several other Jayhawks also getting their shot at the pros despite going undrafted. That's right, Jason Bean, baby. Woo! It's Bean time <laughs> in Indianapolis. He goes to the Colts, and he'll join linebacker Craig Young, who goes also from Lawrence to Indy. Kenny Logan Jr. signs with the Rams, and offensive lineman Mike Nowitzki signing with the Seahawks. And a couple of cats getting their shot to both linemen here. Offensive tackle Christian Duffy puts pen to paper with the Carolina Panthers, while edge rusher Khalid Duke will go to Nashville and join the Tennessee Titans. And one more to add there, long snapper Randon Plattner I just saw a few minutes ago oh to the Baltimore Ravens. So exciting. Exciting stuff for sure. Speaking of, well, he's back. After a complicated <laughs> high school recruitment, Dylan Edwards wound up at Colorado for his freshman year of college, but now the speedy running back He's committing to Kansas State 
again. Yes, he is. Edwards picked K-State the summer before his senior year, before decommitting and then committing to Notre Dame. Then he flipped again to join Deion Sanders in Boulder. But now he'll wear the purple after all. The Derby native had over 600 total yards and five touchdowns while he was with the Buffs. Just an unbelievable one-two punch right there between Dylan Edwards and DJ Giddens. You're talking about a couple guys who could be two of the best running backs in the Big 12. And by the way, Two of the other best running backs in the Big 12 in Lawrence. Oh my gosh, I know. Hey, don't forget the Avery Johnson connection. I'm glad we don't too. have to try to tackle any of those guys. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, hey, we've got that and about 75 basketball roster moves to get to. But also, don't go anywhere because first we go to the Diamond. Well, let's Kansas do that. State goes 500 on the week. The Cats beat Omaha midweek before avoiding the sweep with a series finale win against TCU in Fort Worth after dropping the first two. Back Cats are now 26 and 17, 10 and 11 in Big 12 play. Be on the lookout for a feature on K-State infield of Brady Day here, though, on K-Nation next week. Hey, call it a perfect week for Jayhawk baseball, who really are among the hottest teams in college baseball right now. The Hawks beat Nebraska in Lincoln on Tuesday. By the way, Nebraska's second place in the Big Ten. That's a big win. And then sent Texas Tech back to Lubbock with a trio of losses. KU has now won six straight. 10 of its last 11, and the Hawks are making a late case for NCAA regional bid at now 12-9 and nine in Big 12 play. On the flip side of things, it was a week to forget for KU softball. Hawks got upset at home by Kansas City on Wednesday, then swept on the road by fourth-ranked Oklahoma State over the weekend. Kansas looks to bounce back at home. Three games against BYU start on Thursday. Talk about this, postseason golf will be played for both KU and K-State ladies. The Wildcats send Carla Burnout, who we actually just had on the program last yeah, week yep. after she played in Augusta. She'll get an NCAA regional bid and play in Bryan, Texas. Well, KU gets the team at large bid for the second straight season. In fact, the first time they've done that in program history, the Hawks will hit the course in Clay Ellum, Washington as the nine seed of 12 teams in that regional. Other than that, slow week. I know, right? That's actually not true. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Our biggest story might be that Bill Self tweeted again it this week. It might be. He's a social be. media guru. He got to commit. He lost to commit. And he's bringing back the seven foot two All American. But wait, Jerome Tang has his new big man too. A chaotic week of roster moves. Up next. Plus, Angela Price overcame more than most of us could ever imagine to get to where she's at now with KU softball. How tragedy and devastation fuels this Jayhawk every single day that's still ahead. Honey, what are you doing? What? I just fixed the leaky chimney. Call Certified Fireplace and Chimney. We fix leaky chimneys properly. Every day, my firm helps people who have been injured in car wrecks. Just listen to this story. I was driving down the highway, and a car ran a stop sign and hit me. Well, I woke up in the emergency room, and I was told I had to have surgery. And when I got out of surgery, I called Mike. His team made sure I got the best medical treatment and I got a settlement for $640,000. Mike's got this. Call me. I've got this. Call 785-444-4444. Rough start to your day? Try new Dial Exfoliating Body Wash with a touch of creamy cocoa butter and orange extract. Reveal soft and healthy feeling skin after just one shower. Dial up your day. K Nation has the interviews and coverage you want for all things KU and K State. Join us every Sunday night after 27 News at 10 for another exciting week of K Nation. Sponsored by 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. The biggest stars start their morning with today. This week, Tiger Woods, Selena Gomez, Kate Hudson, and Monday, Donna Kelsey and Anne Hathaway live. This is what your coffee choice says about you. Latte says you are a people pleaser. Not so much these days. <laughs> Next live, Anne Hathaway. Monday at 11 on 26. Do you have water damage from storms? Give Certified Fireplace and Chimney a call before the damage gets worse. We'll inspect your chimney inside and out, then we'll make any necessary repairs. Don't wait until it's too late. Call Certified Fireplace and Chimney today. Welcome back to K-Nation. Jayhawk football alums getting drafted is exciting news for KU fans. This news here, though, is exciting -er. Oh gosh. Two words for you. <laughs> Hunter Dickinson coming back for his super senior season. 
It's a good two words. The All-American Center math. teamed up with Bill Self for an announcement on social media. He averaged 18 points and 11 boards last season, earning Big 12 Newcomer of the Year and second team All-American. The 2024-25 season will be Dickinson's fifth and final year of college hoops. But wait, there's more for Jayhawk hoops. Rylan Griffin will join Dickinson and Self in Lawrence. The Alabama transfer guard averaged 11 points a game and three boards a game last year with the Crimson Tide. He'll be a junior this coming season. And by the way, the six foot six Griffin shot just under 40% from three. Call him a sharpshooter when he was a sophomore in Tuscaloosa. Well, incoming freshman LeBaron Felon had requested release from his commitment to Kansas. Felon was the number three point guard in the country for the class of 2024. And he will reportedly now go to Alabama. So we got a little college hoops trade there. Switcheroo, as they say. <laughs> hey, Kansas State <laughs> added two via the portal this week. First, three-point specialist Brendan Housen, a Villanova transfer guard. He shot almost exclusively from beyond the arc his first two seasons in the Big East, scoring six points per game last year. Housen will be a junior and a big man for the Cats, a former five-star prospect and McDonald's All-American. Bay Fall transfers to K-State from Arkansas, originally from the country of Sangal. Well, he played in just nine games as a true freshman with the Razorbacks this past season. But the ceiling is through the roof. Oh, and yeah. as with the Hawks, roster moves work both ways. The Wildcats lost three to the portal just this week. It's freshman guards R.J. Jones and Dade Ames, plus senior guard Quez Glover. Glover was hurt in K-State's first game of the year and didn't return to the lineup. Meanwhile, Jones played about nine minutes per game and Ames probably the most notable yeah. loss out of the three. He started in 16 games and played in 31, averaging five points and two assists per game. The true freshman scored 16 in K-State's NIT loss to Iowa. Lastly, forward Arthur Kaluma declared for the NBA draft this week. That's after just one season with the Cats. He averaged 15 points and seven rebounds as a junior in Manhattan. KU senior Angela Price having the best season of her college career right now. She's batting over 300 and has driven in just about 60 RBIs. That should actually say about uh, 15 type <laughs> on my part, but it took a lot for Angela to get here. All that aside, her story is just one of strength and perseverance. I sat down with her this week when she opened up about the lows she had to battle through long before getting into the home run highs. College has been anything but easy for Angela Price. Her freshman season was promising, but sophomore year, a phone call from her roommate changed everything. She was like, hey, whatever you're doing, when you get the car stopped, you need to call your sister. So she did, and that's when Angela found out her dad had passed away in a motorcycle accident. But my mom was also on the motorcycle, and my dad died instantly, and my mom was life lighted. Angela then went home to Arkansas, missing a month of school while she and her sister took care of their mom. I wasn't ready to leave her whenever I did come back, and um, that showed. I mean, there were a lot of days where Angela didn't know if she was going to come back and didn't know if she was going to be at KU, didn't know if she wanted to play softball anymore. But her coach and Lawrence played a huge role in getting her through those bad days. I called her and was like, well, what are you doing? And she was like, I'm at home. And I was like, well, I'm struggling. I'm coming over. Some days we just came over and just, just sat on my couch and just tried to just let her feel like she had a home and a roof over her head and family around her. That relationship helped pull her back to the surface yet again junior year when she tore her UCL. And has to have Tommy Johns and that that's a setback, a whole nother year of that. So it was like two years, which is a big chunk of a college career that I you know, was being restricted by something. But now in her senior season, she's going balls to the walls as free as can be and not holding anything back. She's posted a career best in every stat category and even knocked her first career home run to beat Texas Tech a few weeks ago. Just her energy and her commitment to her senior year to be in the best vi version of Angela Price that she could be is has just played out. Honoring my dad's life is probably the biggest fire in my belly and what's keeping me going. Gosh, just such an incredible story yeah. there. She's so strong. I asked her about it. She said, you know, I actually wasn't strong. And I was like, yeah. no, I think you were. No, maybe stronger than she realized. And Absolutely. she made an impact not just on the program, but on the coaches and players around her. Absolutely. Don't go anywhere. A one-on-one -on -one interview with KU's offensive coordinator, that's Jeff Grimes, comes your way next. Car wrecks don't just happen from 9 to 5. If you're in a wreck, we're available 24-7. Don't wait until tomorrow to get the help you need now. In a wreck, need a check? Patterson Legal is the way to go. Call 431 JML Engraving Manhattan provides quality service you can count on. JML can add that personal touch to your gifts, trophies, and special occasions. 
JML Engraving, celebrating victories in life. Are you ready to rock? V100 presents Hairball, the bombastic celebration of arena rock returning to Topeka at the Stormont Vale Event Center on Saturday, May 11th. Hairball featuring dead-on recreations of KISS, ACDC, Van Halen, Motley Crue, and many more. It's like 20 concerts in one night. Tickets on sale now at the Cable Dahmer Box Office and Ticketmaster. Don't miss Hairball on Saturday, May 11th at the Stormont Vale Event Center. Visit hairballonline.com for more info. Fidelity State Bank and Trust, Topeka, empowering customers since 1922. If you're looking at doing some remodeling to your home, debt consolidation, college tuition, your equity is there. We are offering competitive rates and terms on home equity loans. It's a great way to let your equity in your home work for you. Fidelity Bank, we do business right here at home. Truck accidents have resulted in big money for our clients. In Iraq, need a check? Call us today. Patterson Legal is the way to go. Call 431 KU Offensive Coordinator Jeff Grimes has big shoes to fill. Hawks averaged the fourth most points in the Big 12 last fall with just under 35 a game. Yeah, Grimes has all sorts of new ideas, but also he won't fix what's not broken. He's fired up to work with Jalen Daniels. Here's the one-on-one -on -one with the new Jayhawk play caller. This was a successful offense last year. How do you balance not changing for the sake of change, but there probably are some, some of your own spins that you want to put on this offense. Uh, what's the balancing act there? How, how different do you want the offense to look in 2024? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I got a lot of respect for what's been done here, program in general, uh, for Lance, for Andy. Andy and I have known each other for a while, have talked about offensive football in the past, the way that they've played here is a way that I believe in as well. And so I think that was important, the alignment. If I hadn't seen things that way, then Lance wouldn't have even talked to me about the job. And so I think that's first, just having a commonality there in terms of philosophy. Um, I think every offense every year looks at itself and says, how can we improve? But I think you'll see to the common bystander, you'll see a very similar product on the field. Creativity, everybody loves the trick play, the gadget play. I think I think you guys scored a touchdown in the uh, spring showcase that people love. Uh, how do you balance not being creative for the sake of being creative? And I guess how much creativity is too much? I think it's only too much if your players can't execute yeah. that. If you're doing so much that it becomes confusing for your players, then that's when it becomes a problem. But really, they're they're typically not going to have problems with those kind of plays. They enjoy them so much. Some people say, oh, you're too cute, or it's it's gimmicky. Right. You're trying to trick the defense. Well, that's what we're trying to do on every play, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, I'm not trying to tell the defense, hey, we're running over here, and then run the ball right there. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to make them think we're running the ball there, but really we're throwing it over here. Yeah. So every play is some form of a trick. Every play, there should be hopefully some deception right. involved. Even if it's a simple handoff off tackle, the quarterback should be faking something else after he hands the football off. And so I, I don't buy the thing about being too cute or gimmicky, and I don't know. You know, there's the balance comes in how much can you actually execute. Right. I believe in them a lot. I believe in being creative, and it's not just those types of plays. It's just being creative in a normal way to run a simple play, just given a different presentation maybe than we've given before. Yeah. Have you been able to install more of that, given the experience that you have in your, in your skill players? I look at your quarterback, your starting running back, and then at least, what, half a dozen wide receivers who have been here four or five years. So have you been able to throw a lot at them? knowing that they can handle it? Yeah, a lot. Really, really have been able to. And tried to challenge them this spring and just talk to them about that. And they felt like it was challenging, but good. I think everybody wants that. I had a coach that I worked for once say this. If I have a good team, an experienced team, the only, the only way I can go wrong is to not challenge them enough yeah. to not hold them to a high enough standard that's that's really the only way i can go wrong with these guys we're trying to challenge them and trying to give them more than than they've done or maybe some different things than right. what they've done in the past and been super impressed with how well they've handled it i uh, gotta ask about jalen of course uh i know he hasn't been able to do everything this spring but you mentioned that the stuff he has been able to do 
he's looked really good. W what has stood out the most about him as you have gotten familiar with his game and as you started to gain the trust of him and probably vice versa? Yeah, it doesn't take a lot. A little Jalen goes a long way. How talented he is, how confident he is, and I just want to continue to breathe life into that. I want him to feel free to go out and and play within the structure of the system, but do it in a way that, that fits his personality and fits his skill type. And I think that's something that that Coach Z does a great job of, is just coaching those guys within their God-given ability. It's really cool to see how he does that. And a unique combination of a guy that's fiercely competitive and really driven and uh, really likes to enjoy play in the game. Yeah, I think you have a unique perspective in that you, for a few years at least, saw this program turn around from the outside looking in. Was there talk with your team when you played these guys of this isn't the KU team that, that it was five years ago? Yeah, so my first year at Baylor was Lance's and this, yeah. this staff first year here. And we played here and I probably could have called any play that, that I wanted that yeah. day and we probably would have won handily. Yeah. But I did notice a team that was sound, well coached, and yeah. played hard. I saw the the signs of a team that was being developed, yeah. and I, I just I firmly believe in the fact that you can see quality coaching when when you watch how yeah. a team plays, and I saw it. And then the next year played them in Waco and and won again, but um, a much stiffer challenge and a team that that was making strides, you could tell. And I was thankful we didn't play him this yeah. year. The exponential rate of growth here in the last couple of years, just something that you don't see mm -hmm. real often. So I think, yeah, everyone in the league has taken notice. Yeah. Coach, I appreciate your time. If I think of any uh, great plays that I think might work, I'll let you know. I'm always looking for them. So <laughs> all you got to do is let me know. <laughs> Thank you. All right, appreciate buddy. It. I won't reveal my playbook to you, but coming up after the break, an up close and personal look at Cooper Beebe's special day, the phone call, the hug with mom, the emotions of draft day up next. Come on home to West Blue and Manhattan's West Side. Tommy's Express Car Wash. Live brighter. When it comes to realtors, don't mess with the rest. Trust the best Remax Signature Properties. Smoothie King, rule the day. This is the old prince discover some new come home to. You know, you've probably heard it said that some people have to hit rock bottom before they really come to the Lord and give Him their life. And that's what happened. I, I probably had a lot of anxiety at that point about my future. But as I began to study the Word and a lot of Dr. Stanley's teachings and sermons, I began to realize that through the love of Jesus, God saved me for a purpose. They say you get what you pay for, but that's not always true. My last pair of glasses from the mall cost me $500, but I really love my ones from Success Vision, and they only cost me $200. Glasses aren't made from some rare earth resource, so they shouldn't cost more than my phone. Yeah, if you want expensive, well-made frames, go to Success Vision, get them 40% off. I got to see the eye doctor that's right next door. No wait. The staff are friendly and know their stuff. To bed for 39 in an hour for less. Come see us today, Success Vision Express. The Storm Track Weather Cam Network on 27 News. More cameras covering your community, giving you a live exclusive look at weather as it rolls across Northeast Kansas. That is the view in Holton as that storm is starting to clear out. Working for you to provide advance warning of changing conditions. The Storm Track Weather Cam Network, available live to you anytime, online, and on the 27 News mobile app. Well, it's a moment that you don't forget. That's when years and years of hard work and dedication pay off. Yeah, Cooper Beebe is now a Dallas Cowboy, and the Beebe family was nice enough to welcome me into their home for the special day. So here is an up-close and personal look at the emotions of the day the Wildcat All-American officially got his shot at the NFL. I know I'm going to go somewhere. There's going to be a team that wants me out there. Just not knowing when and where. Now there's definitely a lot of stuff running through my mind. Obviously there's a lot of anxiety not knowing you know, where you're going to end up. Something 
he's been striving for since he was a kid, since he was football. But there's also a lot, you know, a lot of happiness, a lot of pride, just knowing, you know, my dream is finally coming true, and I'm just that much closer to fulfilling my dreams. They, they tell you, I want to play in the NFL, and you're like, okay, we'll, you know, we'll take you anywhere and everywhere to play, to train, to do all of this. I grew up going to school with Coop. Me and him were in the same kindergarten class, all the way through elementary school, and then got to play against him in high school, and I switched high schools and ended up coming to K-State with him. And throughout that whole time, the one thing that man's always done is work hard. I, I really can't think of anybody who's more deserving. I really can't. It's a long shot at best, but he did it. Hello. Hello, Donald Scott Boy. How's it going, Jerry? I'm happy to be a cowboy. I mean, it, it means the world, man. It's, it's such an unbelievable experience. And just to know, you know, my dream since I was a little kid coming true, I just, it's, it's hard to put to words right now how happy I am and, and how excited I am to be a Dallas Cowboy. There's a lot of people that have been in my corner since day one that, that's helped me get to this point, and, you know, I couldn't do it without them for sure. I came to K State wanting to play DT and, you know, to turn into an offensive lineman, you know, consensus All American now getting drafted in the third round by the Cowboys, man. I'm here to work, you know, whatever whatever the Cowboys need me to do in order for us to win, that's what I'm going to do. And, you know, I'm, I'm just excited to get to work and, and get rolling. Very quickly, I asked a few questions, held the microphone. Our director, Daria, shot most of that video <laughs> and edited it all. She did she a fantastic did a great job. job. Great Special job. Special day. Don't go anywhere. More K-Nation after the break. Searching for a career in advanced manufacturing or industrial automation? Manhattan Area Technical College's new Industrial Engineering Technology applies science and engineering through theory and hands-on application of skills. Learn more at manhattantech.edu. Play It Again Sports is your golf headquarters. Come try out a new driver or iron set in our new indoor T-Turf driving cage. We offer a full range of new and used golf equipment from Cleveland, Strixon, Wilson Staff, Proline, and more. No matter your skill set, you'll find everything that you need to take your game to the next level for less. Bring in your quality used gear to save even more by trading in and trading up or get cash on the spot. We are buying all day, every day. Play it again sports. 21st in Fairlawn in the Fairlawn Plaza Mall. Are you looking for compassionate, personalized care for your furry family members? At the Pet Health and Nutrition Center in the Veterinary Health Center, your pet's health is a priority to us. Our primary care veterinarians and staff are knowledgeable in all phases of care for your pet and want to partner with you in developing a wellness plan that is specifically tailored for them. Are you ready to take your pet's care to another level? Then give us a call. We'd love to have you and your pet become a member of our pet health family. Hi, this is Voice of the Wildcats, Wyatt Thompson. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide or experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, 988 provides direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you will be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. For 24-7 non-judgmental support, just call, text, or chat 988. Manhattan Area Technical College will help you build a foundation for your college career, like transferable credits offered in your high school, earning your high school diploma through GED completion on our campus, breakthrough to a new career. Manhattan Tech, providing higher education. 
Welcome back. You know it's a crazy week when our final story of the night very well could have been our lead story of the right, night. Right, right. Well, lucky for you guys, we've got a pot of gold to wrap up the show here. The Wildcats are headed to Dublin. K-State football will begin the 2025 season in Ireland against Iowa State as part of the AER Air Lingus Classic. It'll be a week zero game on August 23rd. It's the second time K-State has ever played internationally. Let us know if you want to buy our plane ticket. We'll gladly tag along. Thanks yes, for watching. Yes, we will. <laughs> Have a great night.